Now two days after a driver jumped a curb and hit and killed several homeless people near City College, police say while under the influence. Tonight there's a renewed push to get people off the streets of San Diego. And our Jamie Chambers is live downtown with the new developments and what has been one of the city's biggest ongoing challenges. Jamie. Yes, certainly, Andrew, they've been working to get homelessness under control for over a decade now, trying to understand exactly where it's coming from. Today, activists say this latest tragedy is just completely out of bounds, and they're demanding more action from city and county leaders. We see the raging crisis on our streets. The elected officials who want to pretend they're making progress with manipulated data, mistruths, they're not fooling anybody. We see this with our eyes. We see the encampments proliferating across our city. The vulnerable conditions of the unsheltered sleeping in the Kern Plaza tunnel left them exposed to the out of control Volvo that killed three men ages 40, 61, and 65. Now officials have identified the 40 year old victim as Rodney Diffendel. Six others were injured but are expected to survive. Community activists are demanding swift action to address the continuing homeless crisis. The same things that we're asking for today are the things we were asking for in 2006 when I first joined the San Diego County Public Defender's Office, where our clients who were unsheltered, unhoused, were being harassed by San Diego Police Department. Activists say city leaders have not done enough to protect those struggling to find a place to call home. These career politicians need to know that their days are limited because we are no longer taking lies while people die. Now the driver, Craig Voss, identified as that 71-year-old driver of that Volvo is expected to be arraigned on Monday on many charges, potentially facing decades behind bars. That's the very latest from downtown Jamie Chambers, Fox 5 News. Jamie, thank you very much.